Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah. If you say smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah, I don't know what, what does Jannah is paradise. So basically what you're saying is you're saying smile to paradise. Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I know you got this. You don't like this. After five long years of grinding, Alhamdulillah, Smile to Jannah has crossed the hundred thousand subscriber mark. Can I please get a round of applause? No, of course not, because you should be saying MashaAllah. Why is this 100,000 subscriber mark so important? Reason being guys, my main objective at the start was to show people that you can make funny videos that make people laugh and of course with benefit in it without using music, without using free mixing and any of that haram stuff. But obviously I couldn't do that with 1020k, yeah? Now the channel's verified, I can finally say Man did not use any instruments Voice only tracks And of course many people have asked for those tracks and inshallah they will be in the description below I wanted to show you that look it is possible to do all of this and still get an audience Now don't get me wrong, I honestly thought it would take about a year or two and I would think that people would be more appreciative towards an initiative like this. But you know what guys, honestly it was much more difficult than I thought. And the support Alhamdulillah was there but it was very little in comparison to say some of these big big channels. But Alhamdulillah as soon as I crossed that mark I got on the phone I spoke to brothers that I could get a hold of and I thanked them, you know, people like Ali Dawa, Omarisa, Hamza Sotsis. Um, Dad, I know it. Basically, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to edit that bit out, yeah? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, I'm gonna take you under my wing. That's, uh, it's a great, it's a yeah. great honor. All these brothers who were big, before even Smile to Jannah and at that time I had I think under 50k they still believed in the project and they still support it. Now without this being a clickbaity video I did say to myself when I reach the 100k mark that will be it for Smile to Jannah I'll hang up my coat, I'll bow out and say there you go. For people that want to pursue something like this you have an example right there. But to be honest guys, Smile to Jannah has become a part of me. It has become a part of my life. I viewed it as a hobby. People used to say, after work, how do you get time to make videos? I honestly didn't see it as work. It was a hobby. It was an extension of what I was doing, what I was learning and perceiving in life. So if I started eating healthy, you guys noticed healthy videos were going out. If you are to do a project or an endeavor, immerse yourself in it. Become that project. That's why make sure it transcends just money and it has Islam in it. Because you'll believe in it more and it will mean something more to you as well. Now that I've reached the 100k mark, I honestly cannot separate myself from Smile to Jannah. It's become me and I've become it. But Alhamdulillah, I wanted to thank all of you guys that were out there. I get messages of people saying, been with you since day one, been with you since 20k, 10k. And mashallah, honestly, I can't do justice to that message by replying. So I'll say something cliche as Jazakallah Khair, appreciate it. But honestly, it, it makes, makes my heart go tingly to know that somebody believed in the project so much. And Alhamdulillah, that's all it needed. Yeah, Some of you guys helped by commenting, even the likes, even the shares, sending on the WhatsApp groups. Guys, every little helped. 
the advice and the tips that helped me the most was number one, consistency. I believed in my project. My own friends, people around me did not believe, told me, what are you doing? Yeah, in fact, I was an introvert, but I felt a need to do this because no one else was doing this. Even now, no one else is doing it. That he doesn't use music, um, that posts regular content uh, about the Dean. You know, people don't understand that when they come up to me, oh, Smart Agenda, I like this video, that video, I'm just talking about Islam. That's all I'm doing. But look how Allah honors the people who are trying to honor his religion. And this is why I want each and every one of you guys to do something. Yeah, your marriages will become better, your lives will become better, your just your day-to-day -day activity will become better if you do something for the deen. It could be writing a blog. Yeah, if you're good at writing, do a blog and share that amongst friends and family. If you are somebody that's good at editing or whatnot, do videos, do animation. Yeah, you got productive Muslim who does these little cartoons, do comic strips like the Muslim show. And I can promise you it will add value to your life because that's the beauty of the deen. Make sure you're affiliated with scholars so they can guide you on doing that which is correct and in accordance with the deen. You don't want to do stuff and it ends up playing against you. And the thing is, even now I get people saying, oh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? At the start, we used to do sketches. Then the brothers, some of them got married, some of them moved away, X, Y, and Z. A lot of people martial arts for them. Allah blessed them for whatever they did. But I had to carry this channel on. Even when you're starting an endeavor, don't rely on other people. I don't rely on people for editing. I don't rely on people for adding subtitles or whatever. Yeah, you notice I add subtitles to most of my videos as well. I do it myself, I edit myself, and I learn myself as well. Because I had to search the cameras, the sound equipment and everything and I set up this stuff in my living room. That's literally what it is. And guys, if you do want to get into a project like this, learn how to edit. Take a month or two out or just do a couple of hours in the evening and watch. Within a month or two, you'll be done. You'll be done, possibly even shorter. Now there's tutorials all over YouTube. Any software you want to learn, you can learn for free. You can buy cameras. If you can't afford a camera, you've got a smartphone, put it on a tripod and start recording. I will put in the description my sound effects, my hums, the voice only ones that you guys wanted. It's all in the description. Get started, do something. I don't want anything in return, just pray for me, make dua, Allah accepts a little I have done and Allah accepts me as his friend because if he does that guys, I'm successful. I'm successful, I don't need all this stuff. Yeah, The aim of the game is just to make Allah my friend. And people around may not be able to like me that much, but you guys did. And that's the beauty of the online platform. Nowadays you can upload videos, share ideas, you know, create stuff using apps it's very difficult for someone to lose today. You don't need other people's help, you can just do it yourself. And that's what I suggest guys, do it yourself. Don't rely on other people, yeah? There are so many things I was, you know, I didn't get invited to many radio shows or podcasts or short films or movie sets or whatever. Alhamdulillah, a few here and there. But the point is guys, I didn't rely on other people. I carried on doing me and Alhamdulillah, verified. Smarter Jannah is now verified. Now of course people are going to look at subscribers and say oh he's doing well let's get him on this platform or that platform but guys be you yeah and it's like Umar one who was very harsh. Prophet didn't try to change him he just directed that harshness and harnessed it for the deen. You know, there's this book called Men Around the Messenger. There's like, I think about 50 companions in there and their short biographies. They all have unique personalities. All of them. And that's amazing. So you guys, you're sitting at home thinking, oh, I'm depressed, blah, 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 blah. But I was like you once upon a time. And this channel helped me through difficult times because I felt that there were people that were relying on me, people that appreciated me. And this is why I honestly cannot do justice in thanking you, the Smile to Jannah audience, because you guys have helped me as much as I have helped you. And you guys have given me a lot because of you guys watching, commenting, sharing, showing your appreciation. I was able to meet amazing, amazing people, learn amazing things. But like I was saying when 
I tried doing different ideas because I couldn't just do sketches, it wasn't viable, there's was too many people the whole day recording. So then I started trying different ideas out, you know, the School of Life, the Heal and Thrive series, I tried doing vlogs, spoken word, um, all sorts, interviews, anything. Yeah, mashallah, some did well, some didn't. But mashallah, uh, again, experiment guys, yeah. Don't let other people dictate, people say, no, you should do this, you should do that. No, I do whatever I feel I can do. Oh, talk about this, talk about that. I'll talk about it if I feel I can bring something beneficial to it. Yeah. Again, there came a time where I wasn't too fussed with criticism. A lot of you guys live and die because of what someone says. You can't do this. You can't live and die because of other people. There's, you know, billions of people on the planet. Everybody shares a different culture, lifestyle, perspective of the world. You cannot win with everyone. It's just simply not practical. Just view the world through the ethics and the morals of the Quran and the Sunnah and guys, you will be successful. Utilize your personality through the prism of the Quran and the Sunnah and watch you will thrive and there'll be people that can relate to you. Don't try be like me. Be yourself. You might have your own frame of comedy. Honestly, there were some videos that I just loved doing and enjoyed it and I genuinely found it funny, but it didn't get the most views. But it's not gonna make me stop making them because there, there's still people who did appreciate them. And just the comments that you guys sometimes give just blows me away. <laughs> you guys have such a good way with words. But until next time guys, Assalamu Alaikum.